for quantum computers and quantum uh, technologies applications in general, one of the main, uh, main, a big challenge is to find hardware. So it means materials uh, which are going to be suitable for these applications or said in, an, in another way that which will be able to create or and hold and where we can manipulate these superposition states. And this is far from, from being uh, trivial. And we have lots of uh, materials candidates which are investigated, and one of them are the rare earth ions and the European uh, dope systems. And among the different materials uh, which are under investigation, some have better properties in terms of uh, storage times, others have better properties to do quantum gates, so it depends what are you aiming at. And it's very, very difficult to find a material system which is suitable for everything at the same time. So there's still a big, big uh, uh, active research on good quantum hardware. And that that is where we come. And uh, as I said, uh, the main materials we work with is uh, rare earth dope materials. We work with rare earths in several forms, like uh, ball crystals, nanomaterials, and in this work in these molecular crystals. And the reason is because the rare earth ions have uh, a duality, so they can have optical superposition states and also spin superposition states, and they can be very good as quantum light uh, interfaces. So interface between quantum communications in the form of light and the quantum computers for processing. The um, atoms uh, have different transitions with uh, different energies. And we have transitions with high energies. We say they are in the optical domain and have transitions with the small energies. And those are typically depending on electrons and nuclear states. And those are what we call the spin states. And the both have uh, interest for, for the applications. So in particular, the spin states are going to present very, very long quantum storage times. So if we want to create quantum memories, uh, they are very, very good for that because we can store a quantum state for a long time. However, these spin states uh, interact badly with the environment if we want to do quantum gates, for instance, and are not, not good for communication. So communications between quantum computers are going to happen through optical fibers, and this is in the light form. And in that sense is when we need these higher energy transitions. And in the case of the rare earth ions, we have both in the same system. While in other cases, you can have systems just with optical transitions in the high energy and others with just spin transitions in the low energy. And in the rare earth ions, we can use them as interface between the two because we have both. We can change uh, from one to the other. <laughs>